Talent comes in different shades. For 21-year-old Chizoba Amalu with little education, he's been able to build a car. Yes, a car. It took this young man 10 months to construct his own automobile, and it's a prototype of Gravity X. Guess what? This is his second car built from the scratch with little or zero assistance. TVC News Olawa took a ride in this latest Nigeria-made wonder on the wheel in his special report. In the heart of Ikeja, the capital city of Lagos, is the story of a young man full of inspiration and determination. Director. Director. Cars honking. Every time he hears <laughs> The regular I... feature of the city of Lagos. In this spiral city lives a young man with a vision. He builds exceptional cars. According to research, from design to launch, it can take around two to five years to make a car from start to finish. But Chizoba Chikamso Amalu only spent around 10 months to make a car that he drives in Lagos. This is my first encounter with the genius after a colleague called my attention to the innovation. But at this point, he was still struggling to perfectly fix the engine. Inside this workshop, he got some of the scrap materials to build the car. His first car was actually built with a motorbike engine. But what makes Chizoba's story worth telling? The brain of this guy is more than me because he's the one that built, he's the one that welded, he's the one that attack, he's the one that tight, he's, he's, he's an electric car, he's a mechanic car, and he's a panepitin everything. He does everything by himself. Even if I, I had a crash with the car, too, people on board won't, won't feel for okay. sure. You understand? I have seen expensive car that when they actually crash on an accident, everything squeezes. His innovation is like the bee to the honeycomb as people swam to this wonder given his age. My second encounter with him was outside the workshop, this time on a major road where he was ready to take me on a ride. He told me what he encountered with his father before his dream came to reality. In 2013, he constructed a helicopter, but his daddy was against it. He was forced to leave Enugu. At the time, my, 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 my father flogged me at the time that whenever he wanted to beat me because he saw me doing engineering, he would ask me to remove my clothes because he feels that beating me on, on top of the clothes he is not making sense. I did put a call through to his father to get his reaction. Mr. Matthew Ani says he only insisted that Chizoba focuses on his education. So how do you feel about his progress now? Well, I don't know much about his progress because that he's riding, he did the, uh, he, he walked that motor he's riding. Uh, but it's not, I'm not thinking that that riding motor or whatever, can make him uh, uh, somebody in life if without uh, tangible things because he's not working that motor to sell and to earn money or something like that, you know. So I'm seeing it if somebody who can get the idea more than me to help. He has given the right thing to do as I told him that if he combines the education. But the young innovator was dogged on his aspirations and never wavered. His uncle, a civil engineer, accepted him in Lagos and wanted him to learn electrical engineering 
but he refused. I was living with my uncle, he, although he was a very nice person. He sent me to school for me to finish my education, my, for me to finish my secondary school. So after my secondary school, so he was like that I, I should look for something that I'll be doing. That I, sh I should learn a electrical, a, like house wiring. So whenever he's done with any building that he can give me to do. You know, some words, I was like that, that's not my passion. He took a bold step as he walked to a mechanic workshop to market himself. And that was the beginning of a journey that has metamorphosed into this self-built car. Some people used to ask me, why did I put the radiator at the front? This engineer stopped to see the car and commended him. He believes if supported, a lot can be improved on. For a 21-old boy that can come down his brain and do something like this, means if people we engineers can also help him to bring him to start at the workshop. Chizoba also got people praying for him as well as giving him money just to show love. I really feel, I felt, I don't know, overwhelmed. I was so happy that a Nigerian can manufacture this and a very young man. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. After Gravity X, his dream is to build cars that will be able to move on water and other series that will be able to fly. For my first car that I told you I built in 2019, the name of the car was um, Gravity. Gravity. Yeah. This one is Gravity so X. This one is Gravity X. I have the design of Gravity X, X1, X1 Plus, X2, X2 Plus, X2 Xs. No, but to the level of Xs that I'm in, into now is that X is, is going to be a flying car. A flying car. A flying car. So that is the word, the, the particular design for that X is both from X X3 to X5 moves on water. And it can be as fast as a, a speedboat. I wanted him to drive me around. Uh -uh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. From point A to point B, I enjoyed the ride. To have a better feel of it on the road, I took the wheels. Driving the Gravity X car in the heart of Maryland in Lagos was an experience I will not forget in a rush, though short but interesting. It's amazing driving this wonderful car called Gravity X, built by a 21-year-old Chizoba right here in Lagos. And I've just taken it around Lagos. He drove me around. I took it over and I drove it to this particular point. This young man has spent the quality time building this car. And he has a vision to build more. He has a vision to build cars that will move on water. He has a vision to build a flying car. Dreams like this should be encouraged, should be given the necessary support. We did not stop there. Chizoba had to drive it to another location. As we moved on the road, we were greeted with commuters dazzled by the unique car. From Aja to Ikeja, you relocated without a definite destination in mind. I was going to police college, I was moving around there and I announced to a man, a police officer, his name was Supo Bidi, he was a Supo. He, 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 he was a Mopo officer. So I told him my story, he just said I should follow him. So when I followed him, he, he asked me to park my aircraft in his house and he gave me some money. 
And from there, I saw where they, they were playing basketball in political education. So I told him that I'm, I'm, I'm interested because this is what I've been before. So he told me that the money is too expensive and everything. So at the end of the day, it, it now happened that the, the, person, the, the person that coaches the basketball team was his friend. And he also told his friend the same story the way I told him. I didn't come with any coach. Yeah, so. I played basketball like for one month, two months. I went to the coach because the passion in me, like it wakes me up every, every three o'clock in the midnight. My, my passion of things that I do wakes me up and imagination started flowing on me, you understand? But that, that particular time I was like, I was feeling like I'm going mad. But sometimes for someone to wake up around that kind of three o'clock and you'll be, you'll be awake drawing, imagining things and all that stuff like that. I, I, I told him that I can't really follow that way that you, you understand because it's not my passion. He stabbed himself. Yet, this was not enough. For now, I don't, I don't even have any place that I'm, I'm, I'm going to go. Understand? But I have the dream that even if the, we are being sent out of that place, I will look for a mechanic workshop. Maybe I will be sleeping inside the car. Or, but it, it will never stop me from pursuing my dreams. Understand? Because I actually know what I want in my life. Chizoba Amalu, who is from Eziago local government area of Enugu State, is not interested in university education but wishes to be enrolled in a technical school or polytechnic where he can hone his passion and bring his dream to reality. Like as I am now, if, if a university offer me a scholarship that I should come, come and study in that university, I will, I, I will not accept that offer because I need a kind of place. I need to go somewhere like college or polytechnic. You understand? That is the, practical. All yeah, you need is practical. It's practical, yeah. What do you need to complete this prototype? If, if I can have up to one million, I can raise it up to a very standard level. Because the engine I've seen now is a Nigerian used engine. Although it has been linked so many times. You understand? So the engine is not that powerful enough. But it, it can go to some kind of places, but not that far places like that. And the engine, the gear was everything I'm using is just I, I I got them from scrap metal. According to statistics, in 2019, Nigeria imported an estimated 1.3 million vehicles. Between October 2018 and September 2019, Nigerians spent over 1 trillion naira to import used cars. But Nigeria's local production, which was pegged at 14,000, can barely meet up with the annual estimated vehicle demands of 720,000. This is of great concern. But with more policies to encourage local productions, this can be addressed. More youth will be interested in this kind of innovative empowerment if the government can support Chizoba and many others to grow local automobile brands. Chizoba Chikamsu Amalu remains resolute that if he has come this far, despite the challenges, it is certain that you will make it. Allah Awakon, TVC News, Lagos.